Warning. The following program is rated TVMA and is intended for mature audiences. Warning. The following program contains adult material and language. So if you're a sensitive mother maybe you shouldn't watch it. Viewer discretion is advised. Static, you bastard! Static. Hi, I'm Royce Gavin, and I'd like to discuss an important concern that affects your children and household. Sugar worms. <laughs> Slow down with all of this, so you're going to get sugar worms. <laughs> Slow your asses down and quit hitting each other. Sugar worms. That common condition that renders your children inattentive, hyperactive, and unapproachable. It generally occurs upon the consumption of sugar-based products, such as soda, cookies, candy, ice cream, and even barbecue potato chips. From the makers of My Nigra and Spitalin comes the FDA licensed and approved medication for Buterol. For Buterol, a mild sedative that is 90% alcohol based and 10% clinically medicated to ease the hyperactivity in your children caused by sugar worms. <laughs> Fabuterol could be administered through mouth or rectum and comes in wonderful cherry, grape, and night train flavors. Once taken, <laughs> you'll notice calmer, peaceful results. I've been giving my kids Fabuterol for a week now, and they're so much more calmer. They behave, and they even tell the truth for no reason whatsoever. Ask your doctor if Fabuterol is right for your kids. Mild side effects are common and include dizziness, hangover, the runs, inability to lie, and slurring. So don't let sugar worms rob you and your children from a peaceful coexistence. Ask for Verbuterol today. Hey Rob, man, see what's on TV, man. Oh, for sure. Man, what did you do? Man, I didn't do nothing. Yo, man, look at the TV. Who got the hits? Who got the hit static? Comedy guaranteed, it's automatic. Professional hoodie, create and movie magic. One hit, one show, one plan, it's called static. Who got the hits? Who got the hits? Who could break it down? So ridiculous. It's one word static, professional hood. Our product comedy, and we giving the goods. We here to make you think, fall out, and just laugh. It's static, you bastard, so you do the math. We throwing it up, we know you gotta have it. One hit, one show, one plan, it's called static. Who got the hits? Who got the hits? Static. Comedy guaranteed, it's automatic. Professional hood, creating movie magic. One hit, one show, one plan, it's called static. <laughs> Bastard. And that's how she got mutilated. I'm talking to cut all <laughs> over like <laughs> that. Oh, you know oh, that's your story. That, yeah. that is totally weak. Oh, is, that, is that really is that, is that, is that the best you can do, Derek? Alright, if you can come up with something better, then why don't you tell a story? Yeah. Mm, come on. Come on, Tony. Entertain on, us. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> I bet you'd know some tales. Yeah, hey, some freaky ones. <laughs> come on, we don't have all night. I mean, we got places to be in the morning. Yeah, hey, man, come on. Are you going to do it or not? Come on, man. Yes? Uh, oh, no. All right, all right, all right. Okay. All right, all right. Here's one, here's one, here's one, here's one. Okay. Okay. There once was this woman from the Avon Gardens. 
Her name was Blair. And every time the moon came out, she would appear. Now, Blair was a chicken head. <laughs> who was killed by her pimp and dragged out into the hood. This very hood that we are in now. <laughs> he tortured her, knocked her teeth out, bitch slapped her a hundred times, and left her for dead. Hey, my man was cold blooded. And they say she still lives and vows revenge on anyone with cornrows. Oh, cornrows. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you see? Yeah, yeah, see? That's the only thing she could remember of her pimp because she never saw his face. She would only just hand him her money before she got her ass whooped and he poured sugar on her. Wait, wait, wait. Why in the hell would he pour sugar on her? Well, because he said that she wasn't sweet. And because she stank something real bad and he, you know, thought he could help out. That's crazy. That's got to be the stupidest story I've ever heard. Yeah, you got some cool points on that one, dog. That was so For real. Stupid. You guys wanted to hear it, I mean. Oh, Tony. I think you ruined my night. I'm gonna go watch TV. Well, they say, they, they, they say that you can still hear her cackling in the night as the wind blows. God, what was that? Tony, that's all your voice. Are you kidding me? I didn't do it. I mean, y'all tripping, man. Come that, on, let's just go ahead and watch TV. That's all in your voice thing, Tony. It's not cool, Tony. I warned you guys I shouldn't have told the story. You guys have been warned. Nah, whatever, man. Just go watch some TV. Crazy things. Crazy like a fox. <laughs> hey man, great bonfire. More booze next time though, man. Mm -hmm. You don't need any more booze. Ah oh, man, whatever. Yeah, whatever. I don't know if you need any more booze. Do we have any left right now? Drink. Yeah, we should have some. Oh, actually, I think I drank the last beer. So. Are you serious? I, you know, I need a little. You know. <laughs> Seriously, I need some Prozac right now. Relax. Man, let's just chill out. Let's just chill out. Yeah. It's probably Tony playing his games again. That wasn't you know me. I, mean? I was. I have no idea what you're talking about. What? I didn't. I didn't do anything. Seriously? No. How could? I'm sitting right here. How could I have done anything? Are you just stop playing around? Whoa! Oh, what the fuck? Where are you? What's going on this? here? Oh my god, it's Blair! Blair, it's true! Please don't kill me! Please don't kill me! Let's get this party cracking! Ow! Oh, hell, motherfucking not! You ain't got no cornrows! I'm gonna get you, pretty boy! I don't know you, man! I'm sorry, man, but, but I ain't do it! Oh no, you're gonna have to kill all of us then, okay? You're not gonna get him! <laughs> kill you, you, and you? Hell no! I'm gonna get you some lunch! <laughs>
What's up, Zor? Got any of that bomb-ass chronic? Why, yes. Of course I do. I even have a blunt, too. No, I'll just take the chronic if that's cool. Suit yourself. <laughs> All right. Mmm. Dang, that looks good. Good looking out. That guy. Still, I be bumming on these fools all day in the hood. It's automatic. Bum ass crunt. It'll get you twisted. Static. You bastard. Static. Right, man, because obviously we kind of, you know what I mean? We drive for four hours. Man, we man. can't backtrack. We got to be there about eight, man. You are forever getting us lost. Man. Forever you... getting us lost. Listen. Damn, there's somebody lost. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Bring it on. She talking about calling Keith. Damn it. Man, he's supposed to be more like, nigga, nigga, what the fuck is wrong with the hell? Where the fuck did Pop Money come from? Jethro Face. Oh, you know, he's about to cut to the car. What seems to be the problem? Boss. We know what we're going to do. Hey, man. Damn, there's a lot of you black people up in here. It's about. 145 out here looks midnight in this son of a bitch. What are you trying to get to? We lost, man. Hey, we're trying to get to Big Bear, man. Where do we go, man? Big Bear, okay, look. This is how it is. I'm gonna show you how to get there. You just gotta listen to me. Look, you're gonna go all the way up there. Then you're gonna make a right. When you do that, it's gonna be a bait shop. Up there. Yeah. You get your three worms in a pair, because the trap, they're back. <laughs> We ain't trying to go fishing. Yeah, he then you go all the way up and you make a left. All right, and we make a left. You get to the road, you make a left. Then you're gonna see a guy pissing on the tree. That's Jed. Don't worry about him. He does that every Thursday. <laughs> Jed, trying to see anybody pissing. Damn. I ain't got no damn toilets up here. Then you're gonna go up. Look, do you even know where you going? What you talking about? Do I know how to get to Big Bear? Come on, damn it. Look at this neck. See how red that is? You don't get a neck that red and not know how to get to the damn mountains. Oh, shit, boy. Hey, man, don't nobody care about what color your neck is? Look, then you go up some more. Come on, man, look. Big, Big Bear. Bear. Big Bear. Yeah. California. You gonna keep cutting me off? Have you know Let's just swerve on this nigga because he does not know what he's talking about. Let's go. I'm gonna, look, I'm gonna show you. Just hold on for a second. before it gets dark. But my boys in the hood come out. So what's up, Zor? You got any of that bomb-ass chronic? Greetings and salutations. I am Andre Wellington, your vocabulary specialist. We're continuing our extensive study by asking the general public, what's that word? Now let's take it over to our field reporter, zany but intrusive, Jeff Gordon. We're live and direct in downtown LA in the hustling and bustle of the city, getting ready to ask ordinary pedestrians the elusive question, what's that word? Uh, my name is Jeff, and your name is? Natalie. And what do you do, Natalie? I am a student. Then your name is? They call me Maurice, a.k.a. Momo. You heard me? I'll let you boy. Then your name is? Hi. Patrick. Now, the first word I'm going to ask you, Natalie, is epitome. Epitome. Uh, a volcanic island off the coast of eastern Asia. 
think that's what the word Mr. T used to say back in the 80s, uh, pity me the fool. Isn't that a straw hut? A straw hut? Yes, a straw hut, a pity me. I pity the fool. Your name is? Teresa. Oh, nice to meet you, Teresa. What do you do? Well, I'm a mom and I go to school. And then your name is, sir? Chris Cohallen. All right, the first word we're going to ask you, Teresa, is epitome. Epitome? Yes. Epitome. The epitome of, uh, let me see. Opinions? Opinions. Epitome. It's the best. Ah, uh, yes. It means the best. I pity the fool. Now, the next question we're going to ask you is Jubilee. I know what Jubilee is. It's a celebration for the Jews. Isn't that that ice cream shake that they have at McDonald's? With like the Snickers and, oh, I love chocolate. With like the chocolate and the. Oh, Jubilee. I'm hungry for a Jubilee now. Have you been to any Jubilees lately, uh, Teresa? No. Now, the next question we're going to ask you, Maurice, is Notion. Notion. Um, big words. Uh, 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 notion. Don't know that one very well. Like in geometry, like a mathematical sign, like I say, like pi squared or something. Or oh, and and carry the notion to the second divider. All right, now the next word, Teresa, is monopolize. Monopolize. That's when like the credit card companies like they add up all the interest that they charge you because you know they charge you and they add up like all the interest for over like months and they just charge you all at once. Make it larger. To make it larger, right? In Monopoly, though, right? Yeah. I've been monopolized plenty of times. Yeah. I pity the fool. Now, the next word we're going to ask you is synchronize. Synchronize. Hmm. Isn't that like synchronized swimming? Something that deals with the studio, you know what I'm saying? That's what it is, like synchronized swimming, like synchronized swimming. Yeah, I believe that's what it is. So, you know, a bunch of cats swimming and stuff. Now, the bonus word I'm going to ask you is nut meat. Nut meat? Nut meat. Nut meat. Boy, you know if I say this on national TV, my mama slapped the shit out of me, man. Nut meat. I know uh, nutmeg. I get a picture of balls and a cock. Huh? Nuts and meat. That's a ingredient. Some kind of ingredient. Do you know what the ingredient's for? For for like what? Uh, nut meat. Spell it. N U T M E A T. That's nut meat. Thought. Maybe it's like roasted meat to have like a nutty meat flavor. I know it's not chicken. <laughs> Not chicken, though, huh? <laughs> uh, your genital. <laughs> Nut meat is... Nut inside the meat? I don't know. Any last uh, thing you want to say out there to the public? Study hard. Know these words and study hard. <laughs> yes. Oh, they came close. <laughs> but no cigar. As the saying goes, the actual definitions are epitome. A perfect example, Jubilee, a special occasion, Notion, general idea, Monopolize, having complete control and possession of almost everything, Synchronize, events happening at the same time, <laughs> Nut meat, a kernel of a nut. So stop and think, get your game up as they say, because you never know when we just might ask you. I'm Andre Wellington, and I hope these words have enlightened your daily vocabulary. Give it up for the cast. They do it so well, don't you agree? Alright, look, I'ma show you how to get there, you just gotta listen to me. Look, 
you're gonna go out that door right there, you're gonna make a right. You're gonna see two guys, they're smoking that Buddha. Go ahead and get your hit, I tried it, it's the bomb. <laughs> yes it is. Uh, then, you're gonna make another left. You're gonna see a girl with some pictures. She has some pictures. They're nasty pictures. Take a look, cause she was doing some nasty things. I'll tell you, but okay. uh, yeah, okay, but uh, let me see. Then you go ahead and you make a turn. You're gonna see two guys. You're gonna be out there doing the hip hop dancing. I don't think that's them. Uh, I'm uh, you know, you know him right there. You know that dude right there. Where? Hey, you bastard, I'm trying to help you out. That's all right. I hope you break a leg, you bastard. Where's my dog, dude? You come on, dude. Oh, what's good? I want to thank you on behalf of Static for watching us. These guys are funny. They put it down. And right now, we're going to bring to the stage one of those good old boys. He's my third cousin on my mother's brother's side. He's a good old boy with some good old songs. His name is Country Five, and he's bringing you that hit, Wild Country Boy. Dickery dock. The hoe sucked on my.